your stuff. In less than two minutes. All right, here's a quick look at the solar system. We have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune uh, orbiting the sun. Or do they really? Uh, for most of the planets, kind of, sort of, I guess, are they technically not? Uh, Jupiter, just straight up, no. So what we have are two masses. These masses orbit each other, or one we say is orbiting the other. That's fine. In astronomy, we say this thing right here called the barycenter. Now, the barycenter is the center of mass of the two masses, right? Now, these objects are actually orbiting the barycenter. Two masses orbit the center of mass of the two objects. Now, for most of the planets, that's fine because the sun is so, so massive that the barycenter is very close to the middle of the sun, right? Because that's just so big, so massive, that's where the center of mass is. Jupiter, on the other hand, is a really, really big planet. In fact, it's more massive than all the other planets combined. So the barycenter between the sun and Jupiter actually lies outside the sun. So does Jupiter orbit the sun? Well, no, it doesn't. The sun actually also orbits the same thing that Jupiter does, which is this barycenter here. That's what they actually orbit. So if we looked at our star from a distance, it would appear to wobble as it orbits this barycenter. And this is actually a method that astronomers use to detect extrasolar planets, so planets orbiting around distant stars. If the star has an apparent wobble, uh, instead of just sitting still in, in the spot, that's a very good indication that there's a massive planet orbiting that star. So there we go. Jupiter doesn't orbit the sun. It orbits a point in space outside the sun. Uh, we call it the barycenter, the center of mass between Jupiter and the sun. Don't forget to hit the like button. Yeah. And subscribe to It's Up Here. And here's another video.